Hello, welcome to Surprises from the Vault. I am the registrar here at the Montclair Art Museum and I am here with Betty Jarvis, my assistant registrar, who will be assisting me um, in handling this work. I am um, so excited to start this series, start the series with this work. So you may ask, registrar, what is a registrar? So registrar is ultimately responsible for the actual physical care of an object. That's in, in, a, in a short version. We are a great support system to the curatorial staff who is predominantly responsible for the historical context of the selection of the artwork. Once those decisions are made, the registrarial staff is responsible in handling the physical care, whatever that constitutes. Um, and today we'll be talking about this Charles White painting of 1945, now entitled War Worker. And I'm so excited to be talking about this. This work has undergone quite a bit of conservation and reframing. It had been selected for a very important exhibition, a retrospective organized by MoMA in conjunction with the Art Institute of Chicago um, back in 2018. But we began um, the process probably in 2016 and part of that process was having this work um, cared for. So Betty, if you will help me, and we're doing social distancing since we'll be closed now, putting your mask back on. This is how the piece originated. And truth be told, I, I never cared for this piece and, and mainly because this frame was such an eyesore and just a hindrance on this work in many ways. Not only is it, is it so glaring, the, the white, I think, is, does nothing to frame the artwork beautifully, aside from which this encroached on the painting. So when, when the call came that MoMA was involved in this exhibition, I was so delighted because I knew that one of the, the best framers in, in the country um, headed their department, and that was one of my conditions that they work on this piece to get what we see here as the end result. So I'm gonna talk you through some of this a little bit, and maybe that you help me bring it to the front. So in, in going through the process, um, not only did we discover what we're now calling it war worker because in taking the old frame apart we found very carefully um, old notes on the back of the frame that entitled it war worker because up until then this this painting was untitled and then given the name freedom fighter just based on a little bit of what you see here um, but that was part of the wonderful discovery which is one of the many reasons you want people to come and do research on pieces and you want to collaborate with your fellow institutions and lending and receiving loans because then um, you, you learn more. And, and in this case, not only did we learn more, but we were able to be the beneficiaries of all this wonderful restoration. So if you look um, very closely around, you'll see a little bit of the remnant of where the old frame encroached on the existing piece. And it comes in like about a quarter of an inch. Right now, um, you'll see it because I'm pointing it out, but to the naked eye standing aback, you will not see it because that was part of the treatment. And in going through the treatment, which was very elaborate with their wonderful team of conservators, which included scientific research where they analyzed the paint to confirm that it was an egg-based tempera paint. Um, and then they could really carefully uh, make the selection of what materials to use to do what's called in-painting, where they very carefully uh, match the colors and the style to, to take away from all the losses that were part of the painting. And in doing so, you never want to do anything that's permanent or that hinders the overall look of the artist's work or implies anyone's hand other than what's the artist's hand. You want to keep that intact, but you want to sort of um, minimize anything that's glaring in order to, to make it a, a pleasing experience for the viewer and, and also secure anything that's, that's maybe outwardly flaking. Um, in this painting, you'll see we um, 
we all agreed that it should be floating, which, which it is. So you see how you see the full edges of the painting. And um, this was another strong thing to do uh, because the original frame coming in as it did almost choked the painting. And now there's an integrity here. So you, you very much are seeing the full work in its totality. There's, there's no, um, almost there's no line there. And then let's turn it around a bit. In order to achieve that float, um, this is a wonderful opportunity also in this format to show you what the back of the frame looks like, which, which goes to show part of the, the work that we do and the process and, and the many hands that, that um, go through this process. It's a very elaborate frame in as far as there's almost like two frames, this, this one, which, holds the structure of the inner part and which had that little shelf in, in order to secure the piece and then this outer frame which is the decorative thing which which is there just to enhance the material and at a certain point just receive so at some point when you're looking at the painting you're really just focusing on the painting and not um, being clouded by by anything else you'll see some other information on here which is part of um, the life of the painting um, it shows where where it had been, where it had been loaned to, and in some cases, you'll, you'll, some paintings will will have quite a few of these tags um, along the back. Um, back here, it's it's all these protective layers, just just to create what's called a microclimate inside, keep everything intact. So let's turn this around. So we're looking at the imagery again, Charles White very important artist and and this is where we're working very much in tandem with the curator uh, Gail made a wonderful selection in selecting this piece an important african-american artist um, this work is from 1945 and he was an activist but he was also an artist so um, that was his call and his subject matter was things that were documenting the importance of what was going on as he saw and exemplified his activist causes. He definitely um, documented um, and the African-American experience. This painting and this, this piece, it's, it's very rare. He was predominantly a printmaker and, and um, had a lot of drawings. There are not as many paintings. So for us to have this work, have this painting, we're very fortunate. Um, not only because of the rarity uh, and, and lack of paintings available, but also this imagery and what it represents, which was also another reason why I very much felt so strongly to bring this out today and launching this, this um, Surprises from the Vault because I thought it still speaks to the American experience and what we are experiencing today. Um, and again, we're so fortunate to have this painting. We are also so fortunate to be the beneficiaries of all the care and work that went in bringing this to light in this way, which probably is thousands of dollars worth of work, something that a small museum like ours would really never be able to do. So um, here is your first piece from Surprises from the Vault. I, I hope that was interesting and um, We'll be doing this, I think, on a monthly basis. Betty will be bringing you the next one. Although this is in the vault right now, we are open to the public and there are other wonderful works in our collection on view right now. But we'll try to bring you some more surprises that will be hopefully as equally interesting. Thank you.